All right, I'm going to talk about the TV show Severance from Apple Plus. This show is spectacular. I absolutely love it. It is like a modern day take on Twin Peaks, and that's what I put as what is special about this TV show. I gave it a 92%. This is exactly the kind of TV show I like. It is interesting. It is unique. It is weird. It is for the hipsters. Those are the highs. Only low I can find is there's not enough episodes. Now, this show, the premise of the show is they advance technology to the point where they can create a partition in your mind for a whole nother you. So they create a work you and an at-home you. And when you go to work, you don't remember anything at work. And when you're at work, you don't remember anything at home. So let's say you go to work, you hop in the elevator, go to work. The next thing you remember is the elevator opening and you leaving the office. Now, I gave it a 92 out of 100. There's very few shows that are better than this. It's probably better than 92% of all shows on TV. Um, feminine, masculine scale, I don't really know. It's not really measurable in that regard i put it on a six on the masculine side it's a little more masculine feminine just because the show is a bit more cerebral and slow and deliberate and i feel that women have a shorter attention span than men because i'm sexist light and serious i feel that it's kind of mixed between light and serious i put a one notch towards serious because the storyline does try to take itself kind of seriously but it's kind of goofy so it's also kind of light i could put that at a five or you know a four this TV show is 100% serial. There is no procedural elements within this TV show. It, every episode continues off of each other. Uh, I would say watch this on the foreground. Don't be distracted while watching this TV show. Give it 100% of your effort. There's a couple scenes where you can walk away and take a piss while you listen to it and it still goes on. But don't be playing video games while doing this. Don't be playing on your phone. Give the show your full attention. I didn't see anything woke in it. 10 on the normal scale. It is definitely a 10 on the pretentious scale. This is a pretentious show. If you're not artsy, if you don't like weird movies, if you watched Pi and you thought it was dumb, or, you know, Requiem for a Dream, or Twin Peaks, um, what's the more weird ones? The Fountain. If you watched The Fountain and you didn't get it, you probably won't like this. So... Highly recommend you go check it out. There's very few TV shows like this on the market today, especially ones that are coming out and still airing. I think there's a writer's strike, but once that writer strikes ends, they're going to continue with the show and give us a season two. Very excited for what happens in season two. That is all.